early warnings. Uh, what we've started to do in a preliminary basis is be able to say, hey, uh, we've seen this type of update and it looks to be this you know, severe. What's the severity of it? So in our system, we color code. So this one had a scale of 22 out of 100 and that gave it a medium. So we make arbitrary breakpoints on, on how severe we think it is based on our experience. And then we report on. It. So we could see here that on this day, on the 27th, it started the day to say zero, no update. So, hey, everybody, good morning, no update activity. Mid morning, whoa, uh, Google started doing something. It's a three on that activity on those tells. And then all of a sudden, midday, you know, boom, it's a 22. We need to start looking out. Oh, let me go back. Um, so we saw in our uh, stream in the IMG group that in the morning it was no update, then it was tiny, then it skipped the small date and jumped straight to medium. Google got to work on that update. And then here we had a notification that our aggregate SEO that I showed you earlier came into play. And so that's how they present in the IMG group currently. And this will be an evolving system as we get more types. And uh, I'll show you more types too. Uh, we'll get different types of listings and we'll report those independently. <clears throat> so another thing is those HTML updates uh, that I mentioned before, the ones that break your rank trackers and make you think your rankings all plummeted, even though they haven't when you manually check. So we're measuring those uh, currently. And we can tell you interesting information, like uh, sometimes your time sharing. Google takes your result out of the search results to test some other piece of content to see if it's worthy of being in the search results. So you time share your spot. For example, uh, Google will show about 600 search results for the keyword Google. There are millions of pages that talk about Google. They can't show them all in the primary index. They only show you about 600. So some of that 600, you have to timeshare your spot so that Google can test other content out of the millions of pages that talk about Google. And so we can measure that timesharing. We can detect the types of uh, split tests that Google's doing and say, how many types of split tests did we see? And we saw on this date that there were about three and a half uh, split test cases on average for the, for the keywords we were looking. <clears throat> and we can calculate what were the odds of a uh, Google session seeing one of those split tests. And on this day, it's about 10%. That's important because it means about 10% of the time, your rank trackers were going to tell you you have massive drops in your rankings. When we see these numbers go up, lots of different split tests and the odds of seeing them get really high, we know to be skeptical of rank trackers. And that's why these types of weather updates are important because you know to go manually check your rankings to be skeptical of those drops. On the uh, split test there, does it, oh, maybe you're getting to it, but do you, do you tell, do you show or illustrate what you saw the change? I, I don't because my system, I'm going to show you some of my system. But if I showed you what I was exactly seeing, it would give you the data on how I'm doing it and what I'm watching, and that would spoil our monitoring system. <laughs> so I, I can't directly show you my exact data, but yeah. I can report to you, you know, the information that we're pulling from my exact data. Okay. And so an example, this is one example, Google was, uh, and it's a common example that you'll see currently. 
uh, Google was showing standard search results, but some of the time they were showing this hybrid of the mobile presentation in desktop. That was one of their split tests. And so we would capture it. And Here are uh, all the Bs highlighted. So this is you know, one keyword, this is another keyword, this is another keyword. And I have test pages in all of these different keywords. And some of them uh, would generally see all As, but in green, we'd see the B split test come into play at different amounts. And so we capture when Google is changing uh, that search result HTML, and then we can report this data. And so understanding Google's activities is, is pretty key to weather. And, you know, we're still in the early days of SEO weather. Like there are so many discoveries I made in just looking at SEO weather and figuring out what I would want. Like it's an, untapped part of SEO that's only been touched upon in you know, the very you know, most basic of ways so far. And so I want to applaud all the people that have SEO weather services out there. That's an amazing community service and you should go out and check out their products and their websites and send them a thank you email for providing SEO weather. I think it's an underappreciated community service. And so I applaud all the companies, even the ones that don't want me to use their data. I applaud them all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, you know, there's a whole lot more discoveries to be made. 